Welcome back to the second to last video of the Star Wars character tier list. In this one, we're going to go over Rogue One and original trilogy characters. And we might also do the Mandalorian. We'll see how it goes. Now, where we left off, we did the Rebels characters, the video game characters, and what remained from Andor and Obi-Wan. This video, we're going to hit Rogue One, the original trilogy, and potentially we might do the Mandalorian. So with Rogue One, don't remember these two characters' names. I just don't. But we're going to put them both at good because <laughs> Donnie Yen in Rogue One. Donnie Ren is a Star Wars character in general is just so good. I mean, he's got his martial arts in there. He's blind and he's still so good. <laughs> love him. And I love his best friend that's protecting him, keeping him safe. And the forces with me, I'm one with the force. All that jazz. Love it. Saul Guerrero. Saul Guerrero is a good character. This is where we start getting to the list where everyone's just kind of like in that mid tier. Saul Guerrero is a crazy lunatic, but he's still, he's crazy, but he gets stuff done and he's just a good character. K2SO. I believe that his name is K2. He's great. I think he's a, as a droid goes, he's a great droid repurposed imperial droid which then sacrifices himself for Jin and andor very noble sacrifice from a droid and uh he's funny like all the droids are funny um but he's he's a great droid Jin is a great character andor is a good character go with Jin first Jin is a great character because she's a new character to star wars and she's the leader of the rogue one squadron you know she wasn't really interested in rebelling to begin with. She wanted to just ignore that everyone existed. But then she realized my father planted a defect in the Death Star that's named Stardust. Oh, hey, look, that's my nickname. I can't really pinpoint why I think she's great. I just really like her. Andor is good. I enjoy him in Rogue One. I like his care for Jin. I like that he is, you know, there to be with her and he kind of goes away from being that rebel assassin that the rebels want him to be in the Andor show I didn't enjoy his character I thought he was a wimp cared about himself too much if that's the how they wanted to write him they did it well um but he was just all right in Andor I hope if there's a season two of Andor that his character is much better and he starts doing things for the rebellion that is actually meaningful him being in prison for five episodes did nothing it was just boring. Pilot that defected. He's just meh. Nothing too crazy about him. He helped get the information from Jin's father. That's all he did, honestly. Nothing too crazy. Director Krennic. He was good. I think the actor that played him was perfect. Be careful not to choke on your aspirations, Director. Oh, ow. Great line. Uh, Director Krennic is a good character. He's fun. Great Imperial character. Only cares about being noticed by the Emperor. He's good. He's fun. Now we get to the rest of the OG characters. Man. Han Solo. I'm just going to go right in the middle of this and grab him because I want to. Is a legendary character. Mm. Han Solo. Harrison freaking Ford. Man. Love his character. Again, he's just a selfish smuggler in New Hope. And Luke convinces him to save the princess. He doesn't want to, but he, he really admires and likes Luke. And then they become buddies. He helps him destroy the Death Star. Empire he tries to escape. He can't. Falls in love with Leia. Fantastic. Then he gets frozen to Carbonite. They save him, return the Jedi. Then he help then he helps destroy Death Star again by destroying the base on Endor. Man. Love Han Solo. In the original trilogy. Love Han Solo. Grand Moff Tarkin is good. The only reason why I enjoy him is because of his, his voice. I love Tarkin's voice. And the, the CGI they did for him in Rogue One was beautiful. That was fantastic. I loved that. Loved it. Chewbacca is amazing. <laughs> just, I just love Chewbacca. He's the first Wookiee you've ever seen. This is how you were introduced to what a Wookiee was in Star Wars by Chewbacca, 1977. Loved it. Love Chewbacca. He's amazing. Oh, man. 
And he's a brute, dude. I mean, he just tears people apart. He is Han Solo's loyal best friend, closest in friends. He's awesome. Lando Calrissian from the original trilogy is great. He is a swashbuckler. He betrays Han Solo and tricks him. Then he comes back, he turns around. He helps Leia escape from Bespin. And then he turns around, he becomes a general in the rebellion. There's a year in between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, I believe. Within that year, he helps do a lot of missions and he grows in the ranks of the rebellion and he destroys the second Death Star. I mean, it's fantastic. And he becomes a really great character. I really like him. And a lot of all of the OG characters you like because they've been around the longest and you've seen them more and you enjoy them the more you see them. Princess Leia, a legendary character, legendary. She's right there with Han Solo. Again, a woman character in Star Wars that's great. That's not in present day. She was there back in 1977, people. Fantastic. She was so freaking good. Darth Vader's daughter, Luke's sister, kind of gross as they kiss. Still kind of bothers me to this day, but she's awesome. She is a driving force in the movies. She's just fantastic. And she has the potential to become a Jedi. But she doesn't, unfortunately. But it's awesome. And the story they wrote where she was going to become the Supreme Chancellor in the sequels would have been fantastic. I don't know why they wouldn't have done that. Then the remaining characters that are just, you know, funny characters. Wicked. He's good. I like him. What the? Love him. He's funny. Yes, that noise just came out of me. General Akbar. It's a trap good funny this guy is just man again i don't know much about him except you go Ooh, nah, yeah 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 that's all he does i'm pretty sure that's the only thing he says in star wars but he's man wedge wedge is good you actually get introduced to wedge the first time in the original trilogy he's actually in rebels though which is really cool but this guy wedge is obi-wan's uncle in real life you know that I'm sure you did. Uncle Owen and Aunt Peru are meh. Just because you don't see him enough. But they did do a noble cause. They raised Luke, just like Senator Organa did. So, I mean, for that, they were they were important. They're important characters. And they took care of him. That's why Uncle Owen did not want him to go to the Imperial Academy. That's where Luke wanted to go, I believe. So he wanted to try to keep him safe and keep him on the Tatooine plantation. So but then they unfortunately get burnt alive by stormtroopers. And that is the end of their story. Stormtroopers. We already know the stormtroopers are supreme. Come on, just like the battle droids. Just kidding, they're meh. Stormtroopers and Empire Strikes Back suck. They missed all of the good shots. I mean, along with New Hope and Return of the Jedi, but for some reason, I don't know. Some of the shots in Empire Strikes Back, they suck. Yeah, they're meh. Real talk. They're meh. The Rancor is good. One of those beasts. Freaking ferocious. Luke kills it, unfortunately. That guy cries about it, but yeah, he's dead. Then we got the Wampa from Empire Strikes Back that Luke cuts the arm off of. Meh. <laughs> I only put the Rancor good because I enjoy the Rancor. I think it's an awesome scene from Return of the Jedi. The Wampa, I mean, the first time seeing that when I was a kid kind of creeped me out. I was like, this dude, this, this creature's just eating this thing raw while Luke's hanging by the ceiling of this cave. Uh, but again, just a monster. I mean, in reality, the Rancor could also be meh, but I decided because this is my list, I'm going to put the Rancor good. The Wampa is meh. This little creature uh, that... R2 zaps. He's always attached to Jabba. Nah. That is it for this tier list. Quick one. I wanted to go over the OG characters. And I wanted to go over, over Rogue One characters. But next video will be the last Star Wars character tier list. And it will go over Mandalorian, Boba Fett, and the sequel characters. Oh boy. Get ready for that list because it's going to be a doozy. But this is the list so far. I mean, we have put a lot of characters into a lot of tiers so far. This is a big list. Hope you enjoyed this tearless episode, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.